Today, I'm gonna style my hair into one hairstyle, but three different times and three different ways. I've been trying to think how to effectively show you the best products and techniques for all hair types, whether it's thin hair, normal hair, or thick hair. And I think that I found a system to the best of my abilities, considering that I'm just one dude with one specific hair type. In all these examples, I'm going to the extreme in terms of the products that I'm using, because I really want to uh, show these examples in terms of the hair results as best as possible. But at the end of each example, I will give you some great hair product recommendations to pair with said hair type from thin to normal to thick. First up, let's cover thick hair. I think that the biggest factor that guys with thick hair overlook is how beneficial products with shine actually are. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go for a greaser look or even have that much shine in your finished look. You know, that's not the point here, but I'll explain as we get into it. So first up, I'm loading up on some hair oil, cloud control. It's a product that you can use on any hair type. As you'll see me here demonstrate, uh, it does a great job at adding all day health and more control over your finished results. So you're gonna see this popping up throughout this video. Next, I'm taking a scoop of Fifth Sample Pomade by Blumon as a pre-styler because this product provides the slight shine that can do wonders for thick hair, especially when paired with the hair oil. You see, the thing about thick hair is that thick hair can seriously eat up shine. People with thick hair can get away with using shine products much more than any other hair type because the shine translates to added moldability and taming poof through moisture control. Throwing out some big keywords here. After blow drying, that's right, I'm going in with one more round of fifth sample pomade to top it off. Now from this finished look, yes, you can definitely see some shine, but it looks healthy and it's a shine that will die down. Uh, it's not going to be going away completely, but it'll definitely die down over the next half an hour. The result though, a super texturized hairstyle with loads of control and a healthy finish. Moral of the story for you guys with thicker hair out there, don't shy away from products with shine. In fact, shine in a product for thick hair can actually make your hairstyle just so much better than if you're just sticking with matte finish only because matte finish will make it poofy. Shine, it'll bring that control without going over top and looking all greasy. That said, if you don't wanna hit your hairstyle with shine product after shine product, I would recommend substituting the last dose of Fit Sample that we used after blow drying with capillary clay. You'll still have great control from using the oil and the pomade as the pre-styler, but added hold and all day texture from the clay. Or if you wanna save some bucks, simply skip the pomade altogether, going with even more cloud control to just make sure that you get some shine in there. And then go for our thick hair control system, which includes original and Cavalier bundled together at a discounted price, specifically made for guys with thick hair. I got all these goodies linked down below. Next up, let's jump to the opposite side of the spectrum and talk about thin hair. Spoiler alert, this is not the move for me personally with my thick hair, but I think that I've been able to show this in a way that will convey the point appropriately. I'm starting out with cloud control hair oil again because I really want to showcase that this can be mixed and matched with any hair type and hairstyle. It's just simply such a great starting point. After that, I'm going in with a product called Dry Shampoo Volume Paste from Eleven. The main reason for this is because you want to treat thin hair basically the opposite that you would thick hair. Lightweight products with matte finishes allow for the most amount of volume, hold, and added thickness and body for guys with hair on the thinner side. This volume paste is super dry and actually it's a really interesting product that I might get into down the line because it can be used for multiple purposes. But for today, I'm adding it into my pre-styling routine because it's super matte and really it's designed to absorb excess grease, thus leaving your hair really matte. And I like mixing it with the hair oil to just balance things out a bit. The biggest issue guys with thin hair face is adding body and thickness to their hair. Matte products almost act as a thickening agent and give off the effect of actually having more hair than you really do, which is what helps build a fuller look with more volume. After blow drying, I'm going in with Eleven's hair clay because it's also super matte. You can see in my hair, it's actually really hard to run my hands through my hair uh, and it just gets kind of stuck in place. That's because this combo is basically making my thick hair even thicker, which I personally do not need. But if you have hair on the thinner side, these are the things that you want to look out for to build that body and thickness, get that volume lasting all day long. Now the products that I use demonstrated the effectiveness of, you know, poofing up that hair, uh, really effective for guys with thin hair, but it's probably more matte as a combo than you would really need. A combo for thin hair that I would recommend is still going in with the cloud control. And then we've also got a volume and thickening system uh, specifically built for guys who are trying to add more body and volume to their hair. That includes the Ascend Volume Cream 
and Monarch Matte Paste. Comboed together at a discounted price. I'll also have that linked down below. You see how I'm doing this, man? I'm matching up the systems that's gonna take care depending on the type of problems that you're facing. So cool. <laughs> Finally, let's say that you don't consider yourself to have really thin hair or thick hair. You're just kind of in the middle. Honestly, your product choices are pretty flexible, but I would focus on a lightweight pre-styler combination and go in with something a little heavier to finish it off. You're finding that perfect balance between the light and the heavy. The hair oil and volume cream are perfect lightweight foundations. Of course, the volume cream is great for guys with thinner hair as well, but when you get that taken care of and blow dried through your hair, our Cavalier clay takes the cake when it comes to a solid heavy holding clay to lock it in place. Place. The nice thing about Cavalier is the natural shine that it includes, and this is one of the main differentiating factors between our hair clay and the one from Eleven, which I showed previously. It's not super matte and therefore provides the perfect amount of control without causing loose strands or flyaways as the finished result. Guys, I've got everything linked down below, and to simplify all of this, if you've got thin hair, you gotta spruce that stuff up with some matte finished products. <coughs> one more? Bless you. If you've got thick hair, don't shy away from shine. In fact, embrace it and you might be surprised by how well the shine helps you control your hairstyle without losing any volume. And if you're somewhere in the middle, start out with lightweight pre-stylers and finish off with something a little bit stronger, a little bit heavier in the whole department. Hope this all makes sense. I'm one dude, one type of hair, but I got the explanation to cover everything, all my basis. So if you found this helpful, click that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see everybody next time.